I, I'm so happy you're back. You were here last time to promote your book, Not That Kind of Girl, and it's done very, very well. Congratulations. Thank you. If you don't have it, funny, smart, it's a great book. So Thank congratulations you. on that. And now you're here because we're going to talk about you're going to be on Scandal. I am. She's going to be on Scandal. That's one of the things I'm doing. That's one of the things I'm getting to do. And Portia and I actually got to share a golf cart to set. We weren't in any scenes together, but we were both trying furiously to learn our lines and talk really fast. Yeah. Like I talked the fastest I could possibly talk, and then they said faster. Right. It's <laughs> yeah. It's called scandal pace. You yeah. get it down, and they said do it in scandal pace now. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. But I actually developed well on the set of Scandal. The biggest takeaway I had was that your wife has the best eyebrows in the business. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't believe, like I was literally, I was quizzing her to the point where she must have been uncomfortable. Yeah. Look, I was like, how did you do that? Is there any, like, do you have extensions? What are you? And she was like, no, I've just been blessed with these eyebrows. And so yeah. I talked about them so much that the hair and makeup people actually gave me a serum, like a, like a eyebrow Rogaine that's supposed to help wow. them get. I wondered if maybe because she grew up in Australia, she didn't feel the same pressure that many of us felt in the 90s to have thin, thin, thin eyebrows. I don't know, but first of all, you have excellent eyebrows. I don't well, know what's... A professional just filled them in. My sister says they look like balding caterpillars when they don't do anything. Oh. Did you tell her you liked her eyebrows? Yeah. Uh, she didn't come home and talk about that. So, but, but usually Good. because she was thrilled to be working with you. She was very excited about you being on the show. I'm excited. I can't wait to see I it. I freaked out just to share a golf cart with Portia Tarasi. Oh, that's sweet. Um, you are doing something that I'm so impressed by. I saw some pictures today in our meeting. You're doing, what, what kind of, oh, what, what's the yoga? Acro yoga. Acro. And it's partner yoga. It's partner yoga. Look what she's doing, y'all. Look at that, that's crazy. He's doing a lot more of the work than I am. No, because you that's have to a... balance, that's core, to balance like that. Well, I, you know, it happened because I'm not. Why are you in a restaurant doing it? <laughs> we actually couldn't find a space with high enough ceilings because one of my teachers is six foot seven, not her, that's my friend Sonia. But one of my teachers is six foot seven and so we asked to enter the hotel bar in the morning and then um, a general manager rushed in, like, hyper-emergency housekeeping says people are picking each other up and throwing each other around in the bar. And then he saw me and was like, okay, whatever. Like, yeah. I've just been, you know, haunting them in that hotel for months. Wow, so how long have you been doing this? A month and a half. Wow, that's really good for a month and a half. Thank you so much. I think it looks, the, part of the teacher's job is to make it look like I'm doing something. I was... I am the physically laziest person you've ever met. Like, mm -hmm. I never even crawled. Like, I just, like, lay down on my back till I was five, then started walking, sort of. Like, I can't. <laughs> and so, Tracy Anderson, who's a friend of mine and a, you know, professional mm -hmm. fitness trainer, who's trying to get my body into, she's trying to get my 98-year-old body to match its chronological age of 28. Uh -huh. And so she suggested this and was like, it's a great way to, like, get in touch with all your reconnect your bones and muscles and understand your body and really feel like you're in it, which like, to me, I'm just like a floating head and then like, I guess I have limbs, but I don't really know about them. Right. <laughs> and I have to say, it's been working. Like, I walk up the stairs and I'm like, I can feel my gluteal muscles supporting me as I go about my day. Wow. <laughs> and you know where your gluteal muscles are too. Now, will They're you- right there. Will you- <laughs> No. Um, will you and your boyfriend Jack do it together? Is he learning it? He did it once. He said it was, Life-changing, but ultimately too nauseating. <laughs> Life-changing. Here he is. But look at, see, well, you'd want to do it together. He's a really sensitive guy on a lot of different levels, and I just feel like getting swung around in the air is like, it's not right maybe for him at this stage in his life. Uh-huh. So now I do it with like, like big, handsome men that I pay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> However you have to get it. Now, you and Jack, here's the one thing that I want to say that I admire very much, is that you're very happy and very in love, mm -hmm. and you will not get married until it is legal for everyone to get married in all 50 states. Yes. And I love that. Thank you. That's a wonderful thing. Well, it's something that the idea of having a celebration that can't be fully shared among all the people in my life and all the people that we love just doesn't really feel like a celebration at all. So until that's something that everyone can join into with, with no sense of being left out on any level, politically, emotionally, it's just not something that we're gonna Well, do. That's, we're on our way there.